Come on, switch. baby. Come on. Right, here we are. Down the caravan again. Right, well, we was going to put a new sink unit in yesterday at the Chris's caravan at Sharon's brother. As you know, we've done the last two shout-out Sundays down here. And uh, I come up with a bit of a problem. I did measure the sink. I don't know what's gone wrong, but it's too small for the actual hole. And you can't buy that worktop anymore, so I'm going to have to change all three parts of the worktop. I'll show you that in a second. <coughs> but Chris likes bright colours, and uh, it was very dated, the uh, the original wallpaper in here, baby, wasn't it? Mm. What did you think about it? I oh, thought it was all right. We, well, we're getting on a bit. Oh, so is he? And he's older than us, isn't he? Well, I wouldn't have gone for the colour he's gone. He's gone very bright, gone, but... Um... But sitting here, Shout, I'm actually getting used to it. I am used to it now. It's a bright green, and it's going to paint the whole... What about the kitchen area? Does that go green as no, well? No, he likes the kitchen area. I think I would have gone a stony colour. Right, well, it's like beige. He don't like beige, does he? Well, it's darker than beige. Yeah. We'll show you that in a second. And I'll also show you what I've got to do. I've come up with thinking it's a few little problems, but... Uh, oh, I would have got an olive green. Olive green, maybe, yeah. Oh, shall we show them now? Okay, well, as you can see, it. as you can see, this is... Let me let me turn the camera around. Well, as you can see, it's nice, it's pretty neutral. But uh, as you can probably see, the, the, it's, it's like a pattern. Let's show you. On the wall there, I don't know if you can see that in this light. It's, uh, a, a, it's an old textured wallpaper. And it's probably a little bit dated. So when you come around here and see the new colour, bang, there you go. <laughs> if you're looking at this for the first time, Chris, you can probably get a good uh, aspect of it. Uh, the light's not too good in here at the moment. I've had to pull the blinds, basically, because uh, you never film light with light behind you, basically, when we're sitting in the chair. So this is it. It's uh, What sort of green would you say that? Like a mint green, is it? No, it's a lime green, isn't it? Lime chopped mint green. So that's what we've got now. And if I just spin you around, that's what it actually was over there, as you can see, in the corner, just behind Sharon. Uh, that was that sort of uh, textured, dated, not, is it pastel? Not pastel, is it? But when you go around now, it's definitely not pastel. It's uh, a lot br brighter than it definitely was. And to be honest with you, it did look bright first of all, but I'm actually getting used to it now. So that's where we are with that. So coming into the kitchen area, we've got this old sink here, as you can see, which I've actually taken out. This was damaged along the inside edge there. Someone had fixed it with mastic, so that had to come out anyway. And um, this is where we are now with it. Right, so I don't know what's gone wrong here. Whether they've sent the wrong one, I did have a measure. I did measure it, but uh, bottom line is, is that I've now got to change this worktop here and to change this workshop, you can't actually buy this type of worktop or this pattern anymore. So that means changing this part of the workshop. It also means taking this bit of the workshop out, which I've got to sort out, which means the fridge has got to come out. And the other thing is, is that uh, now we've come this far, I don't know whether Chris wants to, what do you reckon, Sharon? Is he going to want new taps? Well, I thought they were a bit tatty. So you're looking at these now, Chris, if you are watching, these are the old white taps that are going to go on that stainless steel and I don't think they're going to look very nice to be honest with you so what do you think they're going to look grabby aren't they well I should get hold of him anyway ring him well tell him to have a look at the video shall well it be won't be up will it no it'll be up later on won't it well we can't be in queue now yeah I know we are that's Sorry. a point that's a point well Sorry. even if we have to well I can always put another set of taps in afterwards can't I but the nearest workshop they do for this is uh, 45 pounds or 49 pounds, I think, at a B&Q Superstore. Well, Shadow, it costs workshop my kitchen, I don't know. Yeah, well, it comes in a, a big three metre length, Sharon. And lucky enough, they've got the cutter service there. So uh, I've just come to measure. I've actually measured this one, so I know what this one is. We've actually come down today to measure that one there and that one there, so they can come to them. So that we can get it in the car, that's the idea of that. And the colour in the bedroom, let's show you that. So as you can see, the bedroom, which is this floral, very very uh, basic old looking style wallpaper he's got there but that's going to be that colour now <laughs> so this is only a little tester patch basically but it's going to be that blue look we brought the kids around the other day look they put their fingerprints in we, we said don't touch the paint kids but what do they do put their fingers in it that's what kids do for you 
so that's going to be the bedroom so panning around can you imagine that's going to be blue like that he does like his bright colors right that was chris on the phone good news is he likes the color so he's happy with that i'm going to sort the worktop out so we're going to go down to b&q superstore very very shortly and sort that out but first of all we might just do a couple of shout outs while we're here shout i actually wouldn't call b&q a superstore well, that's what we it's call a, a stoop. It's a boring not... store. Well, I like it, Shout. I like anything to do with tools where you can walk around. Like you'd like walking around clothes shops. Debenhams. Oh, I love Debenhams. I hate shopping. I know exactly what I want. when I... Like today, we're going out now. I know exactly what I want when I go out there. We're going to get work top and possibly I'm going to get a new jigsaw. How exciting. Yeah, well, I like it. And well, taps. Baby. And taps. And taps as well. Yeah, he don't like the taps. We're going to change the taps as well. It's only right because they're old bleating taps them anyway. Right, baby, come on, who have we got for shout-out Sunday? We've got Paul and Christine from Brow Hills. Or it could be Brown Hills. I don't know if he's crossed the N out or he wants the N in it. Where is that? Uh, first line. He's no, it's an N. It's an N. It's oh, Brown it? Hills. Are you Pauline and Chris? You've uh, sent me an Christine. email. Christine, yeah. You said Chris. Christine, yeah, Paul and Chris. Yeah, but she might not like Chris. She might like Christine. Christine, I'm going to call you Christine. Sharon says that's what you might like. And I bet she's called Chris. See, bet... people call me Shaz, Paul, and I... I don't like that. No, I don't like that, baby. Sharon. You're Shaz. No, you're baby, baby. So that's Paul and Chris. Dean. Brown Hills. Where is that? I don't know what it is. Did I put that there where it was? No, it's too much for you to do. Nice that. to see you. Nice to see you uh, on, on our uh, little shout-out Sunday. Yes, baby, who have we got next? Chris, the Scottish prepper. Chris, the Scottish prepper. Chris has been absolutely fantastic with us recently, Sharon. He loves, oh, my dog is very, he very, loves the very dog, happy. Barney and uh, Bison, and a little package cup. Well, I say a little package, babe. It's about a box about that big, wasn't it? Very happy doggies. With all their chews, what they like, because every morning they terrorise me for a chew. It's a routine they've got into. Chris has now sorted us out for about a month, isn't he, Sharon? Yes, thank you very much. So they really do appreciate that, and he also sent Sharon some flowers. For a birthday, which is coming up, and on they're the still lovely. Sixteenth of August, so we still got them in the living room, Chris, and they give such a lovely aroma. Oh yeah, is better it aroma? Than, better than his feet. Is it aroma or is it? It's an aroma. Persona. What is aroma. It? Aroma. Fantastic. And listen to this one. Oh, this was amazing. It topped off the week for us. We had a lovely Highland. Is it? I don't know if it's Highland or not. A Scottish meat package come direct from a supplier in a freezer temperature control box of all fine scottish beef baby wouldn't it must say them sausages we had the sausages oh chris God. and we've also had the burgers and we, we don't nice. normally have uh, beef sausages do we no they were fantastic and whatever guess what we got tonight no not tonight maybe this afternoon, this afternoon. we got a lovely uh, roll of is it a brisket of beef which I put in the slow cooker. Oh, it's going to be absolutely out. fantastic, Chris. And all the trimmings. All I, I don't know what I'm saying. That was fantastic. It's nice getting presents. I normally Thank only get. Very much. I normally only get slippers and socks at Christmas. It's better what you get. No, I never Christmas. get slippers. No, what am I talking about? You socks and wear, pants. You don't wear slippers. Do I don't you wear really? slippers. I wear pants, baby. Don't so. That's what I normally. That was absolutely fantastic, Chris. Lovely. And the reason being is because Chris has uh, obviously not been very well for a few years now. And it's just his way, as he told us, of showing his appreciation for the time we spend and the, what we give out to people in, in doing these videos. As you probably know, these videos don't just happen. It takes a lot of background work and a lot of editing work and stuff like that. And to keep coming up and creating stuff, we've got to keep doing stuff. Because everything you see on our... You just keep getting what you're getting. If you keep doing what you're doing, you keep getting what you're getting. I know, that. That's one of my sounds. I say that. In fact, I can see a T-shirt coming on. If you keep doing what you're doing, you keep getting what you're getting. Yeah, I'm going to do a t-shirt for that. There's an idea. But anyway, so our videos have helped Chris through his dark And Chris, dark we're going to send you a Retro Restore t-shirt. How about thank that? You. Yeah, give us your size, you Chris. let us know what size you are. Give us your size, that's baby. That's we can do. And we'll, we'll ship one off to you, Chris. And you don't even have to share. No, we'll you don't even have to. Oh, I will say that. A lot of people have been sharing it on yes, Facebook. Yes, thank you. A little competition going. On Facebook. There's about three or four people on there. I'm even in for a chance of it. Oof. Hello. That's our doorbell. Jimmy's returning home. Jimmy's been out all night. Jimmy's got a new van, by the way. And uh, we're going to be doing the cam belt on that. It's not a large van. It's a, I think it's a, is it a Mark V Astra van. Uh, and we're going to change the cam belt in it. And we're also going to do an oil change on that I as well. I see a video on that. Well, of course there will be, baby. I would have done it this weekend. But now we're doing the caravan, aren't we? 
And as I say, that's how our life goes, you see. Sometimes we're doing what I want to do, which is the projects, and then we've got work, which we actually work from home, as you probably know. That means doing T-shirts, that means doing graphics, that means doing internet answering of questions, because I provide a, a, a tutoring service or a mentoring service where I help people who, who want to get on in the T-shirt or mug printing businesses, and I get constant emails from them people. And that take, all takes time, answering the comments and questions on the... Uh, uh, the videos which we put out as well as also private emails which I have to answer as well on Facebook and also YouTube she's busy doing the t-shirt stuff and she's also busy looking after grandkids we both do that to be honest with you and I'm painting and today she's painting or yesterday she was painting I'll be back tomorrow today I started doing that I had to go with Jimmy the other day to pick up his new van that took two journeys and two trips basically um, what else was there Cher? plus I'm doing the sink in here aren't I yeah, I'm yeah. sorting that now, and I've got extra work now with the workshop. Plus, I've got the Retro Hacks channel, which, as you know, the restoration videos on that. Yes, and did you got... see his axle stains? I must admit, she loved them. I was very impressed. She might get them for her birthday. Didn't yeah, think of that one, did you? Don't praise them up too much, yeah. I was impressed. And I also found an old box of tools. Oh, look, here we go, Jimmy. Where are you? Yeah, where Wait are you? It'd be hungry. Baby, your brother. My brother. Hello. See what goes down here. Speaking, how can I help? I'll ring you back later, Dave, and we'll sort out your bank details. What? All right, then. Okay, then, Dave. Right. Good boy. Good boy. All right, then. Bye. It's my brother. And that's another thing we do. We help his brother out. What's happened now? I've just brought something I don't really need. But he wants the money. What is it? Uh, one of them G-Tech. <laughs> Try to buy some mad. It's one of them G-Tech things. Cordless. Cordless Hoover? Yeah. How much you burnt out there? Well, he owes Martin 40. Why? I'll give Martin the 40, basically, and I'll give him 20. He's paid a lot of money for it. He's just a bit hard up at the moment. What, 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 hold, on, hold on for a minute. How much you got to give him? 20. How much did it cost? 60. So, he ain't giving me back the 40 quid? No, I'm giving it to you out my 10. No, I don't want it back. I could have just told him. If he, he ain't got to pay me back, Sharon. So, uh, did he need to sell that if he if he still wants it? There again, you, you don't use Uber. I don't we bought it for. <laughs> you go around his house, it's full of fluffy's carpet. Right. You think that is a carpet? Little so, James. if he's after 20, is, is that all he wants, is 20 quid? Well, I'll ring him back later and I'll speak. That's the thing. We don't live a nine-to-five life. We don't work for someone else. When things come up, we deal with them. And that's why a lot of my projects don't continue in one sort of... Right. I'd love to be able to do that. I'd love to be able to just go... Then we've got to earn our living as well, don't forget. Because, like like everyone else, I've still got bills to pay, haven't we, baby? Mm. We've still got gas, electric, council tax... We got water charges, we got food, we got clothes. Anyway, what we're we doing? Shout out Sunday. So thank you very much, Chris. We're going to send you a T-shirt. You'd have to send me a, a PM private message. Oh, did I need to say private message when I said PM? Send me an email, Chris. Send us your daughter's send us your size address. as well. Little one. It's because he's got a little girl. Oh, yeah. Sure, look. Send. We'll do her one as well, so yeah. she matches daddy. Because kids like to match their daddy or their mummy. Yeah. So I never used to match wearing my mum's clothes. No, little boys like to wear their dad. Look at Harry and George, they like to dress like their dads. Yeah. Jimmy obviously doesn't like to dress like you. He does, he just he wears he wears black. He never... Uh, at work, when he's working. Only because he has to, but he yeah. wouldn't dress I like I never you used anyway. to, shall. Yes, I did. I All like, kids like to dress like their parents. I used to model myself on my childhood era, which was the Fonz. He still does, not it? And I still do now. Ooh. I used to have the leather jacket. Although I don't wear the leather jacket anymore, do I? T-shirt, jeans. Oh, summer. Used you to be, want to wear it today? No, it used oh, to be white t-shirt I used to wear, like the Fonz. And it came here back. I was, I was, what do you had there? Hey, well, I've still got air, Sharon. Unbelievable. Right. Go on in. Off you go. The giant Govinda. Yes. Even well done. I couldn't say that because did you see know. when he passed me that pipe? He had a little smirk on I'll call you face. VJ. I like calling VJ. He loves all the videos. Get sharing. He does good. love all the videos and he does comment quite a bit actually. I think you should, have you been on Retro? I hope Hacks? I have said your name right though. Yeah, you have. Vigant. Vigant, isn't it? Vigant. No, I said for Giant. Yeah, you can say what you like, Shell. 
Is it tomato? Or is it tomato? It's like the Chris and Christine bit. You don't like to insult people with the same name. Oh, shall. Shall call you shall, don't I? When I get annoyed with you, I call oh, you. Oh, call you, call you a few Sharon. other things. I call you a few other things and all, don't I? Oh, you call me some nasty words. <laughs> Unbelievable, right, baby? And what's oh, the last right. one? It's to Ben and girlfriend Claire and son Callum from a little village in West Mid- Midlands called Baggington. He loves all the videos on the cars. Is it and Baggin- yeah, it's Baggington. I've never heard of that one. I wonder whereabouts in the West Midlands. Uh, you haven't heard of Brownie, you? Ben. You haven't um, heard a lot of things, have you? Yeah. Hey? You haven't heard of a lot of things. Well, I've not really been to the West, although I've been to uh, Wigan. That's in the West Midlands, isn't it? The old Wigan Casino. Those of you back in the uh, the, the 70s, you know that one. You remember the... No, you don't know Wigan Casino, do you? What was that? All Night Dancing. Uh, Northern Soul Music. Where they, they, they dance, they do, they do the wide gate dance, and then they a drum beat comes in, and then it, they'll spin fast on, 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 the, uh, on the spot. And then they'll drop down, then they'll go back and put their hands behind them, back flipping, not back flipping. Although, they used to dive forward, if I remember rightly, and jump backwards. Northern Soul is American soul music back in the era, which you couldn't buy over here, never charted over here. And it was played in the northern clubs of England, and say Wigan being the, the main one, which was the Wigan Casino. Have a look on YouTube, type in Wigan Casino. Why does anyone yawn then when I just yawned? Chow, it's not that, love. This is history. You know when somebody this yawns. Is Folklore, local history of our country. Oh, shut up. Wigan Casino. People used to come from all over the country to visit... Well, I didn't. No, 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 baby. The next generation up from us, basically, they're in their 60s now. Well, you're nearly there. No, but I was, I was oh, five or six years before that. Don't wind me up, shall So easy. Unbelievable. It's not even funny or so easy. Anyway, there's our shout-outs for today. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I bought this, uh, I went on Facebook and I typed in uh, tools, old tools, and I found this old... Martin Butler come up! Eh? Martin Butler come up. I'm not an old tool, Sharon. <laughs> Type in old tools. I'm telling them, baby. The you can find some bargains on there. Anyway, this bloke's selling an old tool box, and the old can't leave a tool box. Still in my car. Full of old tools, full of old tools, rusty old tools as well. I don't know how long they've been in there. Anyway, he wanted eight eight pounds for it. I went and picked them up, and those are what I'm going to be restoring on my retro restore. No, retro, retro hatch channel. I'm going to even restore the toolbox as well. How about that? So, if you're interested in seeing some of that, a lot of you like that old little Honda engine I restored on the retro hatch, and that's had quite a few views. Views. A views, baby. Hundred, not hundred thousand, a thousand views. And that's, that's slowly years. going up, although that website yet yeah, hasn't reached a threshold for monetization because it's not been viewed uh, enough yet. I think it's had about 2,000... Could you watch each video about 20 times, please? Yeah, I'll just put put my retro store... Retro, watch it to the end. Put the RetroX channel on at night in bed and just let it run. Watch the playlist or something, I don't that's know. That's what he does, he sends it to I sleep. can't, no, no, I don't watch that, I watch other people's show. Oh, I know, and it gets on my nerves. And that's what I do, baby. Anyway, we're going to leave it here today. We've bored you enough for this one. You bored me after twice, I'm It's young. a bit of a shout out, Sunday. We've got to go down to the superstore now and buy that work. It's not a superstore, though, is it? Well, all right, B&Q then, baby. So, here's the latest addition to the fleet. It's Jimmy's little Astra van. It's a Mark V Astra van. It's got a six speed gearbox in it. It's a 1.9 diesel, and uh, it's got a few scuffs around it, which obviously the bodywork Jimmy can sort out, sort of thing. But uh, our job, which we've got to do in it, is to do the cam belt. And I'm also going to change the oil in it. I hope I was hoping to do that over this weekend, but obviously things being busy down the caravan and other stuff as well, babysitting and stuff. We've not had a chance to do it, so let's just give you a quick look around it. So all in all, it's pretty tidy. As I say, it's got a few little uh, bits and pieces it needs doing around the bodywork stuff, but uh, I'm sure Jimmy's going to be able to handle that. It's got a little ripple down the side here, just about there, which has obviously been done before, but not very well. And uh, yeah, it's a nice tidy motor. It's uh, all alarmed up and uh, it's got a parrot system inside it as well. So that's handy for the old hands free stuff. But all in all, it's a nice little van. He needs something because he, every time he gets a bumper, which he has to pick up from like a local garage, for example, he's having to call Sharon up or me to go down and pick it up in our car, in our Vauxhall Vectra. So, uh, this is going to be a lot more practical for him for picking stuff up. Not that he needs to carry tools in it, because he's got no tools. He don't really use a lot of tools, does he? So, 
bottom line is he's now got his own work vehicle and it's going to be a lot more handier than having the little uh, Renault Clio anyway which I think he sold now anyway to one of his mates so yeah this is coming up probably during the week sometime and uh, onwards and upwards coming in we're going baby let's go see you later folks see you in the next video and until then bye, -bye. bye for now